Let's start by making the dough. To 1 cup or 240 milliliters of water, add 1 teaspoon of yeast. Let it sit for 15 minutes to check that the yeast is alive. When it foams, then you know that it's a-okay. Now, in a bowl, add 2 cups or 240 grams of all-purpose flour, plus 1 additional cup or 220 grams of flour for kneading. Then, 1 tablespoon of sugar and 1 teaspoon of salt. Whisk them to combine. Now, add the water and yeast mixture. And with a spatula, start mixing it together. You might need to add a bit more flour to make it less sticky. That's because next step is to transfer the dough to the table and knead it. Flour well your surface, then dump the dough and also add flour on top. The goal here is to get a dough that isn't sticky anymore. I like to knead with these left to right movements with the heel of my hands. As it becomes sticky, add more flour and do that again and again. Now here's a quick pro tip. To remove the dough stuck to your hands, just take some flour and rub them together. Then just knead it back into the dough ball. This should take around 10 minutes, so press play to your favorite slow jam and just get down with your dough. In the end, the dough should be nice, smooth and not sticky to the touch. Now take a clean bowl, add some olive oil, spread it around, then add the dough ball and roll it in the oil. Cover it with a cling film or kitchen towel and of course, leave a nice message so it grows big and strong. Now let it rise for one hour or until doubled in size. A trick I learned from Joshua Weissman is to place it in the oven with just the light turned on. This will keep it nice and warm even in the cold season. Now for the sauce it's super easy. Start with 1 cup or 200 ml of tomato passata, to that add 1 teaspoon of garlic powder and 1 teaspoon of oregano. Mix it up and heat it in the microwave oven for one minute. That's it leave it on the side until needed. Next up, grate 3.2 cups or 360 grams of low moisture mozzarella and reserve a third of a cup or 30 grams for topping. Now let's check on our dough boy. Oh, he's looking nice and plump. Now let's roll it out. Prepare a piece of parchment paper as big as the full-sized oven tray, then transfer the dough on it. Now with a well-oiled rolling pin, spread it out. The trick with the parchment paper, something that I learned from Steven from Not Another Cooking Show, it makes it a lot easier to transfer it in the pan. But as you can see, it's really difficult to roll as the paper keeps moving around. So take a silicon baking mat, place it under the parchment paper, now we got a secure surface that makes it super easy to roll out the dough. Bonus point is that you can use the silicon mat as a guide to know how big to roll your dough. Now that the dough is rolled, start by adding about 3 tablespoons of the sauce and spread it all over the surface. Just leave free edges of the dough clean for about 2 inches or 5 centimeters. Now it's time to add the cold cuts. Usually pepperoni or a type of spicy salami is used and that's what I'm using here as well. But you can add mortadella, ham or even just mushrooms. Now to coat Steven again, shingle your salami until all the surface is covered by a thin, even layer. Then do the same with the cheese. Now to roll it out, start from the side that covered until the edge. Begin by making use of the parchment paper to create a small seam. Then roll it by pulling on the edges of the paper and making small adjustments to make sure that it's a tight fit. When reach the end, stop and stretch a bit of the clean edge on top of the rolled part. Make sure that it's sealed off. Then again, make use of the paper to roll it back in order to bring it in the middle. And make sure that the seam side is on the bottom. Now seal off the ends by bringing the edges in and then underneath, then transfer it in the oven tray. Beat together one egg and one tablespoon of water. This creates egg wash that we're gonna use to brush all over the stromboli. Top with the reserved cheese then with a serrated knife make cuts on top. This will serve as vents as well as making it look absolutely 100% cooler. Finally, top it with some oregano then add it to a preheated oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 Celsius for 25 minutes. Now spoon the rest of the sauce in a ramekin and let's see what we have here. Yeah, I had to shut up for a bit and let you just listen to the sizzle and crispiness of the crust. 